Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, my fellow Americans, for joining me once again. This is Live Free or Die, otherwise known as the Eli King Show. Our motto is Live Free or Die. The original name is Live Free or Die. And uh, this is what this country should be all about. Living free or dying, you see, because I'd rather live on my feet or die on my feet than live on my knees. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you very much. All right, enough time wasted here. The topic of the show today, of course, is the Bilderberg meeting. A lot of people do not know what the Bilderbergs are, who the Bilderbergs are. The Bilderbergs are the global elite who are having these secret confab meetings right now as we speak in Austria, which is that country near Germany. Most Americans don't even know where Texas is. So uh, if you know what I'm talking about, I'll be very surprised. Uh, not insulting my fans here, but uh, I'm, I'm ashamed to say most Americans do not know what uh, where their nearest state or uh, any state on the map is or any country on the map is because they simply do not care. But um, this is a show where we educate you on real media, alternative news media, where we give you the truth. And the Bilderberg meeting, as I was just talking about, is the meeting where the global elite, the most richest and wealthiest scumbags on the face, on the face of this earth, uh, have a, a meeting basically dictating our national sovereignty and our God-given rights and basically uh, implementing rules and laws like the TPP, the Trans-Pacific Partnership, and the Obama Trade, and the TTA, or the TAA, the AT&T, the whatever you want to call it, all this garbage uh, tyranny they try to put out through uh, paperwork, I call it. Uh, it, it's not going to work when we have the Magna Carta and the Constitution, okay? Because uh, that is what that is what this great country was founded on, the Declaration of Independence and the Constitution. And with the 4th of July coming, my fellow patriots, let's not forget, let's remember what, what we and our forefathers and the soldiers who have fought and bled for us their blood has has been soiled our ground has been soiled with their blood of our american brothers our american patriots and for us to just disregard our freedom our god-given rights our first amendment freedom of speech our second amendment the right to bear arms third amendment don't quarter soldiers in my house fourth amendment keep your hands off my balls which are stopped and frisk you gay police officers I know who you are oh I've ran into a couple of you not all of you are gay though uh, trust me I know uh, but don't worry about that Let, let's just move on to some real 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 issues here um, I see some we got some callers who want to call up we'll open up the phone lines in a minute of course but um, I just really really want to focus on uh, the freedoms and the rights that you have and you must not forget my fellow Americans you must not forget and take heed to what Benjamin Franklin George Washington and uh, Thomas Jefferson their ideas are what we should value and live by today you see the democrats of today call themselves liber liberals when in fact the real liberals stand before me thomas jefferson benjamin franklin and george washington these are real liberals these are people who lay down their lives, their sacred honor, and their fortunes to break off from a tyranny that was subjected to us by a king, a government, okay? Government is, uh, when, when, like Ronald Reagan said, when government knocks on your door and says, I'm here to help, then you better start to worry.
Now, some of you out there may love your government and trust your government. That's okay. That is your God-given American right. But it is also your God-given American right not to trust your government and always question your government because you, you don't know what they're up to. These guys are like NASCAR racers. They should wear NASCAR suits because all the corporations that they get bought off by that's who they work for. They don't work for the American people. They work for the corporations who look to bankrupt the American people through uh, credit, card de credit card debt and um, all sorts of tyrannical rules that will kill American jobs in America today as we know it. American jobs are, are the unemployment is, is at an all-time high. They say I think it's, it's higher than it was during the Great Depression in 1929. We're in trouble. And you American people, my American patriots, need to wake up and inform your neighbors, inform your brothers, inform your sisters that a revolution is coming. A revolution of the bind. Oh. All right. Let's open up the phone lines. You want to give me a call? 212-245-7273. Topic today is the Bilderberg meeting. Uh, yes, the Bilderberg meeting. We will be discussing that. All right, let's go to the first phone call. Cole, you're on the air. Hey, Larry, how you doing? Good, what's on your mind? Where are you calling from and what's your name? I'm calling from the Bronx. I, I just wanted to talk a little bit about Rachel uh, Doleswell from the NAACP. I was wondering what you think about that. Her hiding her race and pretending to be a black lady in order to become president over there in Spokane, Washington. It's all over the news at the moment. It's a big scandal. Her parents outed her and said that she's white. She's actually Czech and German. Speaking of Bilderberg, I thought it ties in a little. And she's uh, pretending to be a black woman. She uh, firms her hair. She gets a tan. They're saying orange is the new black because, you know, when she gets the tan, her skin kind of turns orange. They're making jokes, but I don't think it's a joking matter, really. Falsifying records and lying to people, deceit. She's actually paid a healthy uh, fee doing these speeches on how black women have to put up with bigotry and all type of uh, degrading things as young women. And she wasn't even a black woman growing up. She's a little white girl with blonde hair and blue eyes and white privilege. But she conducts these seminars at uh, her uh, little uh, get-togethers, and she talks about white privilege and all these different things. I, 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 I think that she honestly is secretly pushing uh, NWO agenda to some degree because they're almost becoming shapeshifters in their own sense where they can just take on any race now. You can take on any sex. You can do whatever you want. And Bilderberg, it's kind of ideal that they're having this meeting at the moment. Caitlyn Jenner comes out. This one wants to be a black or a white woman. You know, I know you might love a wiener schnitzel, but come on, man. You know, you got to calm down. And politics are politics, and fun is fun. What do you think, Eli? Well, I'm honestly lost. What is this woman's name? Where is she from again? And is she she's a Democrat from, or a Republican? Uh, she's left wing. Her name is Rachel Dolezal. Sounds left and, wing. Go ahead. Yes, and she's actually from, she she's, uh, holds rank at the chapter of Spokane, Washington. She's actually the president of that chapter over there for the NAACP. And uh, everybody, all the black celebrities are coming out the woodwork that you should embrace her and she's courageous and all this. But I think that honestly, at the end of the day, the woman's, one woman said uh, she's doing more for us than uh, we're doing for ourselves. And you should commend her. I said, no, you should be ashamed of yourself, woman. And you should actually get your act together and do more for yourself and your people instead of having these turncoats infiltrate. And uh, it's okay to be black today when I can get a job and uh, get these thirty, fifty thousand dollars $50,000 seminar fees. It's fine. I'm all black. But when you go to the neighborhood and you have to grow up in the ghetto, I guarantee she wouldn't want to be there. And she's actually taking the voice from the black females who actually could have spoke the truth and she's taking that money and those funds and then the NAACP wants to give a lifetime achievement award to Donald Sterling before he uh, got caught in his racial scandal over there with the 
the Los Angeles Clippers. They have a track record of supporting people that are actually have despicable backgrounds. So the, the transparency there is so blatant, but they don't do any background checks or anything, and these are supposed to be the people supporting the black community. If you notice, Eli, all the black activists that support the black neighborhood, they're all multimillionaires. They all don't live in the ghetto. They all have Range Rovers and beautiful suburban outfit cars so they can go hunting and go on trips to their cabins and... You know, kind of like Bohemian Grove. They, 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 they have all their little privileges, but then they come down and they talk to the black people and they put on a bow tie or something and, you know, they get their message across. It's really sad. I, I'm just really affected and I don't really like it. But what can we do, Eli? Me and you, we need to head down to City Hall and we need to do, like, a, a podcast or something. And, and we need to raise awareness, Eli. Me and you, I'll fund the whole operation. I just need you and your supporters. Wow, uh, that sounds very uh, interesting. I thank you. I thank you for that. You sound very, very patriotic. I honor that. Oh, I am. Most of and, these... You know, uh, uh, people always forget about the Second Amendment. That's my favorite one. You strap up and you get your extended clips and you got everything that you need, bulletproof vests and steel toe boots and everything, and you get your water survival kits and your purifications and everything, and you get ready because me and you, Eli, we're going to have to get on the front line and teach them a lesson one day. Absolutely. And uh, jumping back to this NAACP, the, the NAACP are always up to these antics, and uh, you know they they want to make the white person feel guilty uh, because you know they owned slaves 200 years ago or whatever, 100 exactly. years ago. White and people that funded that uh, uh, organization exactly. from the beginning. The Republicans are the ones who struck down uh, slavery, as I know it. And um, it, 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 it's guilty to be white nowadays. It's guilty. So what they want to do is they want to play themselves off as black. Oh, I got to be black now. And uh, if, you, if you're white, you're racist. If you want to own guns, you're racist. Totally right, Eli. Totally right. If you, if you decide to speak up, whether you're black, white, Puerto Rican, Hindu, you should represent your culture and you should be proud of where you're from. And you should take that ethnicity and that culture and progress it in society and project it and show that we are one. And the Second Amendment, the First Amendment, and every other thing under the God-given belt that we oblige by should really be the focal point. Not, oh, this guy's pretending this, this guy's, oh, let me be this today, I'll be that tomorrow. It's, it's just really insane, and I really don't understand it. But me and you, Eli, we need to do something about this. I'm going to email you. I took down your AOL over there. And we'll and we'll have some conversation. This is Frederick. I'll just leave my first name with you, so you know when I email you who it is. Good, good. I appreciate the call, Frederick. Uh, once again, uh, God bless you. You you sound like a real patriot. Like I said, uh, any final thoughts on your mind, really quick? Well, I really think your new backdrop is pretty cool. I like that. Is that a green screen? Yeah, I got the green screen up. I'm trying to switch the show up a little. You know, you gotta you gotta switch it up a little. You know. Yeah. Well, really good i like the format today eli you keep doing a good job man i love your show thank you brother i love you and i appreciate the call thank you bye bye all right bye all right great great call right there i, I like that all right we got about uh 13 minutes left let's go let's get to this next call call it you're on the air yeah hi there it's sally hey sally what's going on what's on your mind hi there um i'm Go ahead, scream into the phone there. My audio is really bad today. Okay, Saturday, uh, June 20th, we're having an all-day affair um, because we are basically standing in solidarity with uh, Australia, who just lost their exemptions, the entire continent, with California. And I'm telling you, thousands uh, descended on California to, to keep vaccine exemptions alive and did not succeed again four times in a row. Their legislators have not listened to them. It's just despicable what's happening there. And also, uh, so January 20th, if you live in New York, join Awake New York on Facebook. Awake New York 
and we're having an all-day action, and it is family-friendly. It's going to be a fun time. Previously, we've gone to City Hall, but this time, we're going to have a lot of fun, but we're all going to get together, and we're going to raise serious awareness about what's going on regarding vaccination. I don't know if you saw that the American Medical Association is fully endorsing a uh, fourth vaccination. Of course, all those doctors will be able to accept each other, uh, but what about the rest of us? There of are 100% course. poison, they create the, all diseases in internal medicine, and the intent is to do this. They are following the Obamacare playbook, of course, Sally. Uh, is this uh, this event is called Awake Now? You said. Well, it, it, the it, it's not an event; it's a group. It's called Awake New York. Awake New York, and and tell us when when is this going down there? To stop this tyranny that's going down regarding vaccination in New York, to act locally, but sometimes we act on behalf of other countries. And, and when it, when are you meeting again, Sally? What, June 20th? June 20th, all day. Uh, join Awake New York and you'll get the particular. So that's Awake. Uh, awake. Give, is there a website? Yeah, it's just on Facebook. Awake New York. Okay, so go to Facebook, type in Awake New York, and the event is on June 20th. This is an online event? Uh, online event? No, it's, it's an action event. It's not going to be a city hall this time, though. It's going to be a fun, family-oriented day. It's a Saturday, so we're not going to city hall. Where, where, where will it be at, exactly? Well, I'm going to tell people who joined Awake New York. Oh, okay. Because, yeah. We, I we gotcha. just want to get people who are willing to take action together, and once we're together, we can take more actions together. Absolutely. So go to uh, Facebook, look for Awake New York, so you can find out the location and the details of this great event that Sally O is going to hold, and we can join together and fight tyranny just like we should as true Americans as a family. Uh, any final thoughts, Sally? Uh, yeah, I guess our, our final thoughts is if we don't stand now, we will have no options in the future. 2015 is a critical year. Everybody goes to tiny url.com slash vaccine free 2015 and sign the petition to congress for a vaccine free 2015 tinyurl.com slash vaccine free 2015 i thank you very much for your time i thank you sally and i appreciate the call as always okay cheers cheers all right another great call from sally let's get to this next caller caller you are on the air Eli, Luigi. Luigi calling from all the way up from Detroit. What's going on, brother? Every week, brother, you know I'm here. Absolutely. I truly, truly appreciate that, especially that you're so many miles away. You have to watch me online. Uh, usually, I only get viewers from right here in Manhattan who watch me on their local cable networks, but you actually are a dedicated fan. You're like a brother to me, and uh, anything special on your mind today that you want to get out there to the millions of Manhattanites that I live with and the world? Yeah, that's Frederick, man. He rocks. And that was one of your best callers next to us, uh, and of course, Sally. And you, of course, but yeah, 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 go, go on. I just want to say, Sally, I'll keep up the good work, Sally. We're going to have to arm up soon because they're going to just keep pumping up all the crap. We're going to have to get them all together. That's right. You cannot stop an idea. You see, you tyrannical Bilderberg bastards all the way from Detroit to Germany to Israel to California we have real patriots who will rise and stand up and hold the idea that our founding fathers have held to be uh, true and self-evident yes Luigi oh, I feel the patriotic uh, spirit within you too my brother I love it too I love it too any final thoughts Uh, I think I heard something about that, but uh, anything Obama says, uh, he says so, he'll, he'll say the opposite next week. So who knows what to believe with this scumbag? Yeah, but I, I know they've been trying to get that for a while. I just think that's, that's embarrassing. Anyway, 
one that would take it. Yeah, being that uh, this happened over 150 years ago, something like that, 200 years ago, I don't know. Um, and a uh, majority of were a lot of black slave owners, and a majority of the slave owners were uh, Jewish. Yeah, yeah. Were. Zionist based, <laughs> Zionist run, as usual, Rothschilds, Rockefellers. Yeah, we know, but anybody's here about that cop shooting down in uh, Dallas? Yes, a uh, supposed lone nut uh, once again. Maybe he was on psychotropics or just another CIA Manchurian candidate. We will get details of that soon. That that I know of. Yeah, they say they took his kid. Yeah, he's claiming uh, he's blaming it on the police department because uh, he lost custody of his children. That that's the report from the main scumbag media. Um, but the, like I said, we'll, we'll get more details later on. Most likely he was on psychotropic drugs like the Batman shooter and the so-called Sandy Hook shooter. And, uh, you know, they're just going to blame it on the Second Amendment, of course, and why they should take away our guns. Uh, but whatever. I mean, it, it, like I said, we're going to find out the truth, Steve, uh, Luigi. Any, anyone with any experience with a weapon would have done uh, a little more damage than that. Exactly. You can already see the uh, the, the signs, the uh, telltale signs there. I mean, he's packing the uh, dirty weapons, pistols, ARs, bombs. But uh, there's one guy driving a truck. <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah, I'm hearing all sorts of stories on this. That's why, you know, I think it just happened this morning. That's why I like to wait and see what the real details are. I just don't want to go out there and speculate like the mainstream does. Who knows if this is even the guy they're showing on TV. It might just well be, but sometimes they get it wrong. Just like with the Boston Bombers. They said it was these two uh, Middle Eastern guys, and then it turned out to be two homegrown guys. So who knows what we're getting right now. We need to just wait and see, and eventually the truth will come out. The truth always comes out. We know that in this great, great country I live in. Yes, it is. No, that's why we, God bless, God save the First Amendment, of course, the freedom of press, so we can get out there and expose our mistakes and our, uh, our honors, our, uh, our patriotic Eli, heroes. Eli, Eli. Eli. we got to yes. get, get something going on Sandy Hook. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, send me any links and articles to my email and uh, any YouTube videos. Um, what exactly do you want to get into about it? Well, basically that whole uh, trial that this had, the, the, they call it FOIA trial, it was pretty obvious something's going on there. If you take a look at the way that people are reacting uh, in court, even the judge, you know, yeah, it's something's going on. Yeah, the whole thing is totally fishy all around from the uh, no helicopters being deployed to save the ch little children. Uh, so, so many, so many, uh, it's just disgusting. The porta potties are already on scene. The uh, 26 Christmas trees right behind the firehouse. Um, they're, 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 it's ridiculous. There are no lawsuits against the school district. Uh, that's unprecedented in history. In any school shooting that has happened in this country, the parents of the victims of the children, uh, you know what I mean, um, have sued the schools. In the Sandy Hook, there is not one lawsuit against the Sandy Hook School District. This is amazing. But anyway, look into Wolfgang Halbig. He'll, hey, he has more info on that. Go ahead, Luigi. Yeah, they all got money in new homes. And there's a lot of things going on, and I'm even finding connections back to Israel again with this. Yeah. Yep. Well, we'll look Very more into nice. that for sure. I appreciate the call, Luigi. Love Thank it as always. Know. Rock and roll, Eli. Rock and roll, brother. I'll talk to you Bye. next week. All right. Good call from Luigi right there. We'll take this last call. Uh, caller, you're on the air. Hey, what's going on, Eli? I want to give you a call, man. I want hey, how's it going, Tornado? Oh, there's not Oh, hurricane. All right, give us the joke of the week. The joke of the week. Go, 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 go. go. And Luigi, he actually used to live up 
Oh, uh, come on. Your, your joke is not funny. I had to cut you off. You don't talk about my good friend Luigi that way. He's calling me all the way from Detroit. Talk about me. Go ahead, last chance. Talk about me. Hello? Yes, you're live. You're on the air. Go ahead. We got about a minute yeah, left. What's up, man? How you doing? All right. What's Sorry, up? Sorry, I'm sort of late and everything, but yeah, I noticed you got the background of the uh, founding fathers and everything. Ah, Steve yeah, yeah, from Midtown. Yes, brother. We got about a minute left. I got the background here. Right. The founding fathers, of course. Ben Franklin, Thomas Jefferson, George Washington. Yeah, my man. greatest American founding Have father. Have you been following InfoWars talking about the latest Zoldeberg meeting in Austria? Have Absolutely. You been touching this this on is that? what the topic of the show is all about, Steve. The Bilderberg meeting that's going on right now. Hopefully, I will be going to Bilderberg next year uh, for 2016. But like I said, Steve, we got a minute left, so go, 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 go. What's on your mind? Go, what's Everything. on your mind? Yeah, well, like like I was saying before and everything, this is when people really need to wake up. Because this is serious. This is the end game now. That's right. That's right. Yeah, you got about 20 seconds left. Go, man, Steve. But, uh, unfortunately for us, two-thirds of us are still asleep. And, you know, and this is something we need to really wake up, you know, because we're being blinded big time. Yes, we and, are. You know, and you heard about the thing about the about the end of the end game for September. Now, what do you think about that? Yes, I'm hearing a lot of talk about that. Uh, but that's, that could be a false flag right there. That could be more 2012 talk, or it could be a oh, false oh, flag. It could be a, it could be a number of things, Steve. See, man, try to um, end world before they before judgment. That's what it is. It's a shame. It's a shame. It's about I tell you, Project Bloombeam, right there. If you ask me. Project Bluebeam, they can have a fake Jesus come out and attack us all. Exactly. All right, Steve. Unfortunately, we are really out of time. All I right, thank you for the right. call, and I'll talk great to you next week, brother. All right. Great call from Steve, Luigi, Salio. I love you all. Uh, join me next week and every week, Saturdays, Eastern Standard Time, only on MNN.org, or go to my YouTube channel. Um, the Eli King Show, and uh, yeah, God bless America, God save the Constitution, and if you have received this transmission, you are the resistance. <laughs> Much. All right, enough time wasted here. The topic of the show today, of course, is the Bilderberg meeting. A lot of people do not know what the Bilderbergs are, who the Bilderbergs are. The Bilderbergs are the global elite who are having these secret confab meetings right now as we speak in Austria, which is that country near Germany. Most Americans don't even know where Texas is. So uh, if you know what I'm talking about, I'll be very surprised. Uh, not insulting my fans. And wealthiest scumbags on the face, on the face of this earth uh, have a... Uh, a meeting basically dictating our national sovereignty and our God-given rights and basically uh, implementing rules and laws like the TPP, the Trans-Pacific Partnership, and the Obama Trade, and the TTA, or the TAA, the AT&T, the whatever you want to call it, all this garbage uh, tyranny they try to put. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you my fellow Americans for joining me once again. This is Live Free or Die, otherwise known as the Eli King Show. Our motto is Live Free or Die. The original name is Live Free or Die. And uh, this is what this country should be all about. Living free or dying, you see. Because I'd rather live on my feet or die on my feet than live on my knees.
Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you very much here. But uh, I'm, I'm ashamed to say most Americans do not know what uh, where their nearest state or uh, any state on the map is or any country on the map is because they simply do not care. But um, this is a show where we educate you on real media, alternative news media, where we give you the truth. And the Bilderberg meeting, as I was just talking about, is the meeting where the global elite, the most richest 